Hi friends, Dean here. Uh, I, I wanted to take a minute and talk about um, something that is an important part of my life and it's an important part of many people's lives in the gaming community and on YouTube and that's Mark Bustler in Classic Game Room. Uh, I, I can honestly say that uh, I wouldn't be here today. My little channel with 134 subscribers would not be here. All of the friends that I've met through those subscribers and other PMs and people that have followed me and have fr become friends on you know Facebook and Twitter because of my channel, I wouldn't have if it wasn't for Mark. Mark was <clears throat> one of the first channels when I first, I was kind of late getting on the internet and when I got on, I, I in, back in 09, and, and saw his wonderful reviews, I instantly felt a connection with him. I really, as a visual person, as an artist, I appreciated the wonderful production values and quality that he pours into every segment that he does. No matter how simple, if he's <laughs> out playing with his dog in the snow, any video that he takes, any commentary that he does, it is just wonderful. It's like having a hot cup of coffee on a cold morning. In fact, every morning I get up about quarter to five a.m. and start my day and the coffee's going. That's the first thing right on my browser, the top of my browser, above all other YouTube channels and everything is my classic game room. And I go and I just see if he's uploaded any new videos. Sometimes because back east is, you know, it's about three hours ahead, sometimes there'll be a new video that'll be uploaded by the time I get up. So it's an exciting part of my day. I honestly can't imagine a, a world without a classic game room. It's been a huge part of my life. Uh, some people know, you know, through my channel that uh, I was a major contributor to Classic Game Room early on from, you know, 09 and up. I donated a bunch of games. And uh, Marcus, you know, he's kind of dabbled in a variety of, of con. He loves to review everything, just like he says on his new monologue. He enjoys reviewing things. He actually reviewed his own Mazda 6 car that he had years ago. Uh, he loves to do documentaries. He loves to review, I mean, any items. He loves cars. He just uh, When I found that out, I was surprised. I said, oh, good, not only is the guy a gamer, he's a car dude. And so I started, I had tons of cars. I got a lot of you know, Hot Wheels and these muscle machines, these little small die-cast cars are beautifully detailed. I donated like 35 of those to Classic Gamer, a bunch of larger scale, more expensive Danbury Mint cars, the 007, uh, Aston Martin I donated. And he's done wonderful reviews. I get such a huge kick out of watching him review anything. And when he does those car reviews, and uh, especially the game reviews, and then lately he's been doing so many of these wonderful pinball machine reviews that it just it brings back memories of, of when I spent so much time in those arcades growing up in the 70s playing pinball games. Long before, when some, quite often there would just be nothing but pinball games. There might be one or two electronic, like an Asteroids game or something like that, but there wasn't a lot of them. So it marks a huge part of, of my life, and, and I, I couldn't donate things fast enough. I, I wanted to do more. Unfortunately, you know, we're separated by 3,000 miles. So Mark is almost like a pen pal. Back when, when I was younger, a kid growing up in the 70s, I had friends that, you know, you become friends at school, and your parents would pick up and move to Baltimore, Maryland, or to California, or Alaska even. And so I, you'd have pen pals, people you stay in touch with, and you actually physically write a letter up, put it in the U.S. mail, and you'd wait, you know, weeks or months, and then you get a reply letter back. And, and, and that's kind of my relationship with Mark. He's kind of like, only oh, it's through emails. And, uh, you know, of course we had that wonderful Skype interview for 40 minutes or so uh, a couple of years ago that he did. And that was his idea. I never asked for it. I just wanted to have a photo op with him. I, I thought he was coming out to E3 a couple of years ago. And I, I asked him, I said, Mark, I said, I, it, would it be possible? I'll drive down from Sacramento to LA for a couple of days. We could have lunch, have a beer or something. He goes, Dean, I'd love to, but E3 is getting so expensive. I don't know if we can afford it. It's, it's big money now to do that. And uh, I could see that Mark had new goals to get out of the humble little uh, environment that he was in, where he's making those, I mean, he's in a storage facility, for crying out loud, filming these wonderful, high-quality videos, interviews with other gaming you know, icons and giants in the industry, 
I love his interview series. I wish you'd actually continue that. I, I enjoyed it so much. And uh, there's just so much content that he did uh, from the simplest from his home, or he would do it from the, from the little studio, the storage facility that he was in, which he had to share with other you know staff members of Classic Game Room. And uh, it, 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 just watching the sacrifices that he's made to keep his vision and his goals moving forward has been very, very inspirational for me personally. Again, I would never have my little channel if it wasn't for him. Um, I wanted to, anyway, I wanted to see him at E3, and he goes, I don't know if I could make it. I just wanted a photo op with him. I thought it'd be great to have a photo op and have a picture with him and have a beer or something. And he often goes, look, I don't know if I can make it. He's, you know, I'll certainly contact you. If I change my mind and we decide to go, we'll work it out. Maybe we can you know, hook up or whatever. But he said, how would you like to have a Skype interview? I'd, I'd be delighted to do one of those. So, um, Knowing he loves cars, and I, he was actually shopping for an El Camino at the time. I go, well, what, what are you looking for? He goes, I like the late 60s ones. My dad and I are looking at some late 60s El Caminos. So I thought I'd surprise him and do one of my car paintings because I, I had some downtime. It was kind of a slow time of year, so I produced uh, you know, a wonderful 68 El Camino painting for him and sent it to him. He did a wonderful unboxing video, which has over 10,000 views on it. And then uh, at that point, he, he said, well, look, he said, I, you know, I, I don't think we're going to go to E3, but I'd love to do an interview with you. And I said, well, God, that'd be fantastic. Is it possible? Is it do you have a Skype account? I go, no, but I'll get one. So I went right down to my little, uh, we have an electronic store that wasn't too far from us in Roseville. And I bought, you know, the best little Logitech camera that I have, which is the same one that he had. And I didn't know, I'm a caveman with technology. I know nothing about this stuff. And I set the whole thing up. And um, my wife actually took a day off from work to stay home and help me kind of set the whole deal up. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I had this delightful exchange an interview with Mark Bustler. God, it's been a couple of years now. Uh, after I gave him the El, El Camino painting, he, he, he felt, you know, very happy with that. He did a, a couple interviews with some other people at the time that was part of his interview series. And I felt honored, a, a little fan like me, to be able to have the interview with him. And, uh, and I was delighted to see him as a car guy. I, it just made me so warm inside to see him happy with that El Camino painting. And he felt bad because he had no place to put it. The, his environment was so tiny, he could only put up a couple of posters. I sent him some Lagunitas IPA posters. He tried to put those up kind of in the side ground. You, once in a blue moon, you could see them in one of the shots. But he just had very limited space. So he just said, Dean, just hang on. I'm going to hang on to the painting and eventually we'll hang on. I said, no problem. Look, I did it for you. You want to hang it up at home, put it in your garage, have it in the background of CGR, it's fine. It's, it's yours to do whatever you want. But anyway... Uh, the, the interview was wonderful. I had such a, a fun time with him. He's got such a wonderful sense of humor. His, his contributions to gaming have, have meant so much. I, I can't even, I'd be hard pressed uh, to tell you my favorite, you know, uh, reviews that he's done. He, he did that Wolvenstein one in 09. That's how I found him. I love the game so much. So God, I want to see what, if other people like the game. I just got on the internet right about that same time. And I only knew IGN and, and uh, GameSpot. That was it. And found his wonderful content and just spent got a week and a half going through every single video literally every video that he produced even some of his documentaries I mean everything I was just uh, amazed at at his um, at, at his vision for what he wanted to do with gaming uh, many I don't know if many of you know that but Mark was really one of the very first people on the internet to talk about gaming even back as far as the late 90s with his old friend Dave. They had a wonderful show. I have a playlist. I don't know how much longer it'll be up there, but a playlist of uh, Mark and Dave having these wonderful exchanges. I went through and watched every one of those a couple times. Really enjoyed them. I said, this is a genuine gamer. This is someone's passionate about gaming and that loves games and loves to share his feelings about games with others. He, he, Mark wouldn't give these damn games a score like everyone else and be overly, you know, jaded and clinical in the way that he'd break them all down. He just showed you playing the game and having fun with it, and loved it. You know, I, I just, I bought a game recently. Oh, what the hell was it? Um, uh, Lost Planet 3. And everyone else just thumbs down. Oh, it's a horrible game, a terrible game, not as good as the last one. Also, I watched Mark's review. Mark showed the fun in the game. 
He said, look, if you love Aliens, this is actually a better game than Aliens Colonial Marines, but it's fun. This is a wonderful game. I, I immediately raced out, literally smoked the tires in my heavy truck down and bought the damn game that day with a strategy guide. I mean, th that's the kind of uh, influence that Mark has over me. I, I, I'm so enthralled with every review that he does. He could pick out the most mundane Atari 2600 game that I suffered through back in the late 70s at a friend's house and review it, and, and it's like magic to me. I, I just It brings back the memories all over again. It, 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 again, it's, it just is his soothing voice and his positive demeanor and attitude towards gaming has meant everything to me personally. And it means so much to so many other people. He's got a huge fan base worldwide, global. And it's exciting to see him taught every person that donates a game. He always gives a nice tribute to that person, a warm thank you. Uh, there's a sincerity and an integrity and an honesty that, that it, it, it's hard to really see today in the world that we live in. Um, I, I was on Twitter yesterday, right when he posted his latest video, his Soldier Blade PC game. I go, oh good, he's got a new review. So I immediately clicked on it, and then I, I'm watching watching the video and the first thing I notice is all the arcade machines are off and he's got his winter coat out to fight the cold Pittsburgh you know, winter there. And I'm like, okay, obviously, the first thing that came to mind is this is not a good sign. It's obviously these cutbacks, what YouTube is is doing. And I don't want to get on a big anti-YouTube thing. I, I'm pissed enough. I, I can't even comment on Mark's videos. I, I, I'm in, in, unable to comment on my own videos. I have people that leave their comments on my videos and I, I can't even respond to them because I refuse to take this Google Plus now. I'll be forced to eventually in the new world order of uh, you know Google Plus. Again, more ivory tower mindset. But anyway, so I'm watching Mark's video and I see the machines turned off. I go, oh my God, it's just, now it's impacted him. And I've been kind of wondering. I've been watching Mark make a transition. He's been spending more time trying to draw people to his website for actually several weeks now, I've, I've noticed it, and I've kind of seen this coming, so I, I, I'm not entirely surprised, I certainly don't know, I haven't talked to Mark in a while, I don't know exactly what's going on, eventually I'll probably catch up with him here soon, and um, uh, it, it saddens me to see a genuinely good soul like Mark get affected by this. There's no one that I want to see make it as much as him. I, I, I've never, I love to see people do well. I love to see people live the American dream. That's what it was all about. A little guy could start in his garage and start a big computer company or start a car company or have a new invention or have something new on the internet starting off very, and from humble beginnings and to see it grow. To me, that's the American dream. That's your dream of anyone in the world that wants to be the captain of their own ship. And that's what Mark is. He, he likes to, to have control over his property and his productions. I, I don't blame him for doing this. In fact, I'd be shocked, frankly, if, if he didn't. But I honestly can't tell you how sad I'm sitting here watching this video. I've been up all night long. I, I couldn't sleep. I, I went to bed at like 5 this morning. I, I, I sat, I laid down till 1 a.m. I got up, I sent him a couple tweets in the middle of the night. I, I felt heartbroken. I just wanted to give him as much support as I could. Because he's a great guy. I want to see his channel do well. I want to follow him, like many of you, as, as, as long as I can. If that means, you know, following him on uh, uh, another forum, that's fine. To be honest, I wouldn't be on Twitter if it wasn't for Mark. Mark actually sent me an email encouraging me, Dean, why don't you start following me on Twitter? I'm going to start doing new things on Twitter. And I didn't know anything about it. I, he kind of, you know, <laughs> encouraged me to get on Twitter. I wouldn't be on Twitter if it wasn't for Mark. I, I certainly wouldn't be on YouTube. I, I've, um, I, I'm just, this is making me so sad and sick to see so many people I love on YouTube. And believe me, Mark isn't the only one. There's so many others that I follow religiously every day. I, I can't watch every Let's Play there is, but I do try to watch as many game reviews as I can. Mark has always been good about keeping the time constraint down on his videos, unlike me, who will ramble on and on. And, and I appreciate that about him. So it's easy to watch his videos. They're a huge part of my day. Every evening with a beer, I sit on the couch, I put my YouTube app on from the Xbox 360, and uh, 
I enjoy a cold beer with Mark and enjoy those reviews. Sometimes I'll just watch an old one. I'll go through and watch an old review again because I can. And there's times where I'm feeling down or uh, feeling crappy and Mark is there. He's the person that is there for... If you're a gamer, you love games and you love the history of gaming and you want to be a part of the, 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 the entirety of gaming, you can't be classic gamer. You honestly can't. Uh, it was this time last year, I had my 50th birthday, it was kind of a dark cave I was <laughs> entering, you know, it, it wasn't a, a, a real big thing. I didn't even get a Christmas card from my own mother, that's how bad the, uh, my, uh, the, the holiday was for me last year. I, was, I had some new friends through YouTube and all that, and, um, and, and Mark, months before, had, had asked me, Dean, is there any game, you donated a bunch of games and Undertow had reviewed them. Is there any game that you'd like to see that you'd like to see reviewed? And I said, you know what? It, I would be honored if you take my favorite game, Wolfenstein: Return to Castle, Operation Resurrection for the PlayStation Two, and review it. I would be really, really happy. That would be honored. I mean, you take your time, whatever time permits. It would just be a, a treasure. Well, lo and behold, right, right when my birthday comes, I'm having this downtime in my life. I, I, I put on Twitter, and and actually, and, and right before then, he sent me an email that day. Dean, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, I've almost got your, your review of your Operation Resurrection, Wolvenstein, Return to Castle. Uh, <clears throat> I just want you to know, I was so happy. When I saw that review, I, I mean, I had tears <laughs> streaming down my cheeks. I was so excited to, 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 to to, to see Mark review that game, it meant so much to me, and I sent him a big thank you, a huge email, and a, a tweet as well, just saying, Mark, thanks so much. That literally made my birthday. It's the greatest birthday gift you could give. That's what Mark Bustler has meant to me. Uh, he's a type that's going to soldier on, and, 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 and I, I, I'll contribute anything that I can to, to help him towards that end. There's so many fans that are pulling for him that want to see Classic Gamer and continue on and do well, and I'll do anything I, I can. If I have to fly to Pittsburgh to help him with something, I, and I've offered that. I said, look, I'll, I'll help you, you know, do some set painting, whatever you need. Just let me know. Mark has always been courteous at one's time and says, well, thanks anyway. No, we're doing great, you know, but I'll let you know if I need anything, you know, that kind of thing. So um, it, it's exciting to see that he has a plan in mind. When he had the end of this video I saw yesterday, you know, he said, fight the future. And he said that on a few occasions. Uh, as you get older, like Mark or myself, you, you, you know, initially as a kid, you embrace the future and RoboCop and Terminator and all these modern uh, progressive things that are coming. But like I've said before, not everything that's progressive is, is good. And um, when he said fight the future, he's... He, he is, this feels the same way. Just a few, several weeks ago, for the first time, I've, I've never seen Mark angry. He was furious over this Google Plus taking away, uh, the, you know, his ability to, to, to interact with the comments, just this, with the same issue that I have. And it's the first time that I've seen him really affected by changes outside his control. So when I saw this yesterday with his new transition and new shift towards a, a, enabling him to have control over his content, that's his content, um, I, I was happy for him. I said, this is the right direction for him. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I just do these little vlogs. I, I guess I can continue to do them. I can't even comment on them at the moment. But uh, I, I just wanted to make this video. And uh, Mark, if you see this, Merry Christmas. You know, you have so many friends and fans that love you. Your contribution to gaming, to YouTube, to gaming reviews, to all the things that we love about you and Classic Game Room, you created that. It all started in the mind of one person, and that's Mark Bustler. I, I can't thank you enough, my friend, for what you brought to, to YouTube, to what you brought to gaming. It's made my life, frankly, much better. And the lives of others. It brought so much happiness and joy into so many people's lives. I can just watch one of those pinball <laughs> reviews that you do, and it brings a smile on my face instantly, and I feel good. It's better than any drug. It's better than any beer, including my Lagunitas IPA that we both enjoy. 
there's nothing like it. So um, I wish you the best, my friend. Uh, I, I'm going to continue to try to interact with you on the forums. I'm going to follow you to the ends of the earth. And, uh, and your, I think your fans and friends will too. Maybe you'll lead the way in, in leading a lot of YouTubers to a, a new way of doing game reviews and interacting with their fans. I, I certainly hope so. So I wish you and your family and Stella the most wonderful Christmas and all the staff at Classic Game Room. Thank you so much for contributing to bring something of real value to the Internet that, that we need so much in a day like today. So that's all I have to say. Thanks, guys, for watching and uh, bearing with me. It's been a long night. Thanks again. Merry Christmas, everybody.